And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and to everybody on YouTube for some Sultai Explore in Historic. So we have a donation deck to retry out the Explore package in Historic. And so that's what we're going to be doing here. You know, we have Wild Growth Walker, Merfolk Branch Walker, Jade Light Ranger. You may remember them from Dominating Standard a year ago, whenever there was five set standard. Now, of course, Historic is nine sets plus the Historic Anthology card, so it makes it even a little bit more. Um, but still, they're, you know, they're still definitely a good um, package of creatures to be playing. And now we get to um, kind of increase their power level with adding in Oko Thief of Crowns uh, to the deck. And, of course, Once Upon a Time, they can really help you dig and you know help you find like that Wild Growth Walker or that Jade Light Ranger that you really need. With Once Upon a Time, we also, of course, have Hydroid Crasis, Murderous Rider, Ravenous Chupacabra, some other really good creatures to go find. We have Vivian Reed, whose tick up is basically Once Upon a Time as well, uh, to you know just keep on refilling our hand um, and everything. And you know, so we're just trying to uh, basically um, just get a good battlefield presence and gain a lot of life with Wild Growth Walker, get to the late game, and then in the late game use Command the Dread Horde and Bola Citadel to take over. Um, so yeah, these are our two put-away cards, basically the two real uh, good top-end cards. So that's what we got going on. We got a pretty generic mana base here, 24 land. Uh, once upon a time helps it with just shocks and... Um, Shocks in the Buddy Lands and some extra forest because of this just being a mostly all green deck. Um, and then uh, our sideboard's not not too special. I like Reclamation Sage more than Brontodon when you want a card that, to destroy artifacts and enchantments. I like how it just has that ability right away. You don't have to spend four mana. like You don't have to play it and then sacrifice it also. Um, yeah, going with Gilded Goose over Atlanta War Elf, definitely kind of debated between those two. Um, Land War Off, of course, is just more consistent. You get your mana every single turn, no matter what. Gilded Goose, though, obviously just pairs really well with Oko, can add the mana of any color, but also just Gilded Goose is very good in the late game if you just draw a Gilded Goose when you're in the late game, which this deck should hopefully be able to get to late games pretty well with Wild Growth and Oko. And so, you know, if you're just in the late game and have a lot of mana, you'd much rather be top decking a Gilded Goose. They could just make some foods and, and sack the foods and stuff uh, than a Land War Elf. Um, obviously, we could be playing Wicked Wolf in this slot that pairs well with Goose and Oko. But, of course, if you don't have those two, it's not going to kill as much stuff. Chupacabra is just, just nice and reliable. Always killing the creature. No matter what, it's destroying the creature, um, even though it doesn't attack as well. I just like the reliability of Chupacabra. And so we got that. Hostage Taker, of course, is another option for that slot, too. But we're going with Chupacabra. An extra command, the Dreadhorde in the sideboard for the slow matchups. Um, some really good cheap interaction here. Duress, Veil of Summer, Negate, Legions, and Noxious Grasp. Awesome, just really awesome cheap interaction depending on what we're playing against, um, which the Soul Tie colors have. <laughs> Chupa thingy. All right, so to play best two out of three in Historic, the only way to do that is ranked. So even though this is a donation deck, we're going to be playing it in ranked. And let's... So that's... What all these things mean, you know, like this, it is a donation deck, um, but it, it's historic, so we're playing it in ranked. So we're doing all the things. Yeah, but Land World's definitely better early, especially better if you don't have, if you don't have um, Oko, certainly better then. Hi, <laughs> you're welcome, Wincat. Should be doing pretty fine. All right, playing some Gruel. I guess I'll just lead with the breeding pool, actually. Yep, yep. Goose can make the food to that you can then sacrifice with Bulgari Queen to draw cards. Very true. So we'll see if we're fast enough to get good enough defense here.
We're gonna need to find more jade lights. We're gonna need to gain more life than what we got right now. Well, that's a good sign for us. They did not have. Um, Ember Cleave. So we're going to have to pay four life to kill this questing beast. Um, which will be doing four damage to us anyway. I'm not expecting main deck Veil of Summer. If this is game, game two, I would definitely be doing this on my turn. And they drew Ember Cleave. This is going to put me down to one. Uh, that was not a good scenario, but we actually, but we drew the Jade Light, so work, that works out. So they didn't have that extra one drop. I was just going to be playing Golgari Queen, killing the Burning Tree. They just have one one attacker, had one blocker. But yeah, obviously drawing that Jade Light, which is perfect. So wouldn't mind finding another one of those, or a Once Upon a Time that finds one. But yeah, that Life Gain was pretty critical there. We did actually find another one of those. Okay. Wild Growth Jade Light. Still doing its thing. Still doing its thing. Yeah, that was that was pretty clutch. Okay, so Command the Dread Horde and Bola Citadel are probably gonna be too slow in life you know, too slow, too much life for this matchup. Um, so let's start there. Taking those out for Noxious Grasp. Vivian obviously can destroy Ember Cleave, so that's pretty important. Um Oko oh, Oko turns Ember Cleave into a three three also. I kind of maybe maybe I just want to do this. I mean, I wouldn't mind playing this Legion's End. Do we play Legion's End instead of Golgari Queen? Probably, actually. Or just one of the Golgari Queens. 
Just, you know, a lot cheaper. All right, let's try this. <laughs> you hated Wild Growth Walker so much? And those are the good old days, now that we think about it. Before they started printing broken cards like Oko. So is it better to have a wild growth and a branch walker or just have double wild growth and just try to draw into another explore thing? Probably double wild growth. Because if they have one removal spell, which is kind of likely, maybe we can have our second wild growth do stuff. Or the third wild growth. Yeah, definitely thought it was pretty likely they had one a removal spell like that. Yeah, standard now is definitely pretty good. Well, this is just a perfect hand. Thanks, Alistar. And hey, Mr. Dank. Yeah, we have done a, quite a good job of drawing Jade Light Ranger at the correct time, I agree. Um, Don't have a good block. It's Ember Cleave card. Pretty powerful. I guess I'm supposed to play the Reclamation Sages also. It does seem like Embercleave is going to be the, the thing that's going to kill us. Gosh, but I have Oko still also. Take out Embercleave. We can't grab Oko with Once Upon a Time though. Yeah, I like Reclamation Sage more than Bronzedon. Yep. I like spending three mana to destroy the Artifact or Enchantment and have a creature left over. Not three mana to play a creature and then an extra mana to sacrifice that creature to destroy the Artifact or Enchantment. So 
not ideal. No, no, Ether Gust. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be waiting till turn five to play Wow Growth and then Jade Light immediately. It's just so likely they're going to be killing it. Steve goes World War Two or WW Two, or that is, but yeah. WWT, thank you so much. We'll go with Steeth. Resubbing. For eight awesome months. Thank you, thank you. Our fourth sub of the day. Okay, so I'm probably going to need... I guess I don't really need... I was going to say that I'm probably going to need the uh... Those blind to tyranny are lost. They just can't see it. The murderous rider to kill Ceratops. Oh dear. But I guess we don't really need that one. We can just block it with Jade Light. Obviously if they have Ember Cleave. So Ember Cleave so 6 times 2 is 12. So I cannot protect Oko from Ember Cleave. I guess I should have just held up Murderous Rider because of this. Hey Storm. Yeah, I should have just held up Murderous Rider, waited for Ember Cleave to get in play, and then Oko turn Ember Cleave into a 3-3. That's not a good play by me. Alright, not gonna let them. Not gonna wait let them veil a summer. Alright, so that's a bad play by me. Just came back from a Christmas dinner. You had a delicious golden goose. I don't know if that's a real dinner thing. Yeah, uh, Shankerstone, refresh your stream. There, there should be like a notification thing or like a thing for you to pop up. Um, a thing for you to to pop up with the with having the sub for today. Um, go down to four. Yeah, these Ceratops looking good. So is there something that, that shows? Just another one. Oh, 
great hand. Great hand. I obviously took the the one. Took a bad line that one turn against Ember Cleave, and my opponent not only had it, but had another Ember Cleave and tons of more Ceratops. So that's unfortunate. Yeah, I have I have everything in the everything for the computer came today in the mail except for the case. The case got shipped from as far as way as it could in the US for some reason and it's it says it's not going to show up until Tuesday. So I I can't put the new computer together yet until we have the case on Tuesday. Unfortunately, about me is absolute nonsense one bite and all your cares are gone all right more gruel stuff Think up a fun fate for you. Let's broaden your existence. Oh, it's it's okay. You don't, yeah, yeah. It's okay. Um, did you? Okay, are you? So, Dake, are you? Well, for for donations, uh, that's that's the link to donate there. Um, to send me a message on Discord, um, you know, like that's that's the invite to our to the Discord group. Um, Whenever you're on Discord, there you go. No, you got you got it, Shankerstone. Good job. Yeah, you got the pop-up announcement to work. There you go. You got it. Uh, when you're on Discord, you can either just be in any of the rooms and just send me, you know, an at on any of the rooms. Um, or, you know, if you just type start a, you know, find or start a conversation. If you just type, um, you know, my name, Todd Stevens MTG, I should come up there also. You get an error message. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm not sure what that's about. Let's broaden your existence. Sometimes sacrifice is necessary. Maybe if you go to like the add a server on the left hand side, go to add, you know, like there's, if you click the plus button on the left hand side, it says add a server. Maybe try, try doing that and putting that link in there. So it's a game you're interested in.
Huh. Surprised they didn't just kill the Krasis. And then attack and kill Oko. New questing beast. That one gets sacrificed. Dematos, yeah. So to for me to play a deck, I either either do it with the uh, with a for a donation for a twenty dollar donation. Um, that's a donation deck. Or if you do a tier three sub, I will play the deck as well with a tier three sub. So obviously we're just looking for Wild Growth Walker. Like that's that's the card that we're just looking for right now. Um, basically just trying to find it. So you go down to six. I think we can cast that. That's not Wild Growth Walker. So I want to pay probably two for once upon a time, two. All right, I'm going to sack this thing. Two for once upon a time, next turn, two for Wild Growth Walker, then three for Jade Light. So I want my seven mana. So many questing beasts. Well, we could just cast that thing. Which we may be. It's unfortunate that all the Wild Growth Walkers are right there. It's supposed to be down to four. The brambles of truth twirl and curl, choking out Yeah, for deck, uh, deck advice? Yeah. Um... I'll always just I'll try to answer deck advice on you know on Discord, you know, just you know at me on there. If you'd like me to do a deck tech on stream. As long as we win, nothing else matters. I can always do that too. Deck techs are, are the ten dollar donation. That's where we, we put the deck up here on stream and talk about it and everything and um, spend five to ten minutes talking about it. Okay. <clears throat> so we got this. If they attack with Questing Beast, we'll just block with the Wild Growth Walker. But no, they're not attacking. So we minus nine. Get the emblem. And now just attack with this Krasis. And there we go. See, I was, I was more scared of the... Questing, like, I wanted to elk the Questing Beast because I was more scared of that card because Questing Beast plus Ember Cleave can do, can be pretty rough. But yeah, I think, I really do kind of feel like Ember Cleave's like the one card that's going to be able to kill us with these Gruel decks. That's what it really feels like. If they don't have Ember Cleave, we're going to be fine. But they do have Ember Cleave. Could be rough.
No, maybe not. Maybe not negate for Ember. Like, yeah, maybe em negate for Ember Cleave is not too narrow, honestly. Of course, Domri's Ambush is a pretty nice card for them too. That you could have try to have negate for that, but of course, you need to be usually you need to be um, advancing your mana and everything right away. That's weird. Alright, well, my Discord's not really working right now, so... It's kind of frozen, it's saying, because I'm in stream remote or something, so... I'll look at that later. Um, I don't really like this hand, honestly. It is turn two Murderous Rider, but... That costs us six, six life to play turn two Murderous Rider. And then we, then we don't have more black after that. All right, let's try this instead. No, we can't We can't go on more ego for Ember Cleave because while I'm saying that, it, that Ember Cleave is probably like the only card that's going to kill us, that will likely change if if I sit back and just take take a complete you know take a complete turn off just to unmoored ego unmoored ego ember cleave we're probably just going to die to the aggro creatures I don't think we can really afford to do that Hmm. Yeah, Historic's definitely a valid format. Hey QQ, good evening. I'll figure out how to deal with this 4-4 Spellbreaker. I want to destroy a land of theirs. This is the, the spot where Goose is worse when you don't have Oko and, like, early game when you don't have Oko. It's just pretty risky against Vale of Summer. Casting this Noxious Grasp, that is. They don't have it. Yay. They could have you know, like the two two haste creature. I don't wanna attack with the chupacabra. We see the Gilded Goose is able to, to add different colors of mana, though. Which is definitely helpful. It's a good thing that Goose does, the Land War Elf doesn't.
Stop having Domri's ambush. So that card's good. Yes, yes, I purchased a new PC. It's all coming in except for the case. We're waiting on the case. Well, sometimes killing the mana creatures helps out, sometimes it doesn't. Looks like this time, this was the time that I needed to kill the spellbreakers. I mean, obviously, looking back at them, them having the extra, well, both Domri's ambushes. Unfortunate. So if I block here, block here, block here, I'm taking four damage still. So I can't, I can't survive and not block with this thing. Yeah, I don't have any good blocks. I can't kill anything. Oh, good. That was just game two. Good, good, good. Kind of wish I had, like, Spell Pierce, not Negate. Negate just costs kind of too much mana to counter ambushes. But those ambushes are so good. As you saw there. Alright, so, so we have two cards we can lose to. Ambush, as well as... Embercleave. Awesome, Azrael. Azra Glad you're liking the Warzav Troll Knight. Yeah, it makes sense to be playing Dragonfire instead of Shock. Um, Exile is super important. Basically, that's that's really what it comes down to. Exile is just is just very very important. This could be kind of rough. See if we get a goose here. Opponent doesn't know how to ca how to play once upon a time. If that was like a blue land, I'd Okay, we got a blue land. I was gonna say I'd consider the Oko more. Or like grabbing the blue land to be able to play like these things on turn three more. Hey, what's up, boot? Please don't have Domri's Ambush. Opponent, please don't have Domri's Ambush. Just play like a Questing Beast or something. Well, that's a good sign. We get to play around Veil of Summer. Now Wild Growth Walker is too big. <clears throat> too big to die to a Domri's Ambush. 
They don't have double red as far as Embercleave goes. Hmm. All right, so it definitely means that they have another one as well. I think a little merriment is in order. They wouldn't just cycle if it's their last one, I don't think. So I think that's their last card. I could be wrong though, because it didn't it didn't auto tap the castle. So they have the land of war elf still though too. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they just you know wanted new cards because they couldn't beat what I had on the board. All right, I think we can safely say not. Not Veil somewhere for their last card. You are fouler than a fiend. It's pretty foul. Gaze into my face and put on your true shape. Hey, Lebeau. Yeah, these Phoenixes are not very good against Oko. I agree. That's why in my Gruel deck I have no Phoenixes, because of just how bad it is against Oko. Just not... Unfortunately, just not well positioned in Historic because of that. invite you to change your way. Alright, we actually won. Alright, one on one. <laughs> An attack, I never thought I'd see the day. I know, it takes takes a lot for me to attack against a gruel. That's not a matchup where we're usually attacking. <laughs> Thanks, Fluky. All right, what are we going to play against? Gruul. It does seem like Gruul and Oka are the two, two decks that I'm playing against a whole lot of in Historic. Gruul and Simic. Turn to Oko, yay! A mirror. Those blind to tyranny are lost. Just can't see it. Welcome to the feast.
Ow. So it's a game you're interested in. Ooh, it's a game you're interested in. Gaze into my face and put on your true shape. Murderous writer. Okay. Um I assure you our deal is worth your while. Thanks for the wild growth walker opponent. I appreciate it. Hey Roach. Thank you so much for that resub. And Cheerios also with the resub. Two resubs back to back. That means we're getting hype in here back to back. So yeah, we got to we got to like use that ability on Oko before they could murderous rider the Oko got to steal their Wild Growth Walker. So obviously Wild Growth Walkers are not too good against Oko because they're very easy to steal. Um, early on like that. I don't think that we just sideboard out our Wild Growth Walkers, though. Oh, that's sub goal number seven. I'm slacking. So obviously we need to be quite worried about Oko. So we're going to bring in the Noxious Grass to be able to kill them. Probably Legion's End for Wild Growth Walker. Seems pretty reasonable. I don't know, like all of our cards are pretty good here. We don't really have cards that are not good. Unless we're supposed to take out Wild Growth Walker. Seems kind of weird. Maybe we take out Citadel. Citadel can get elked. Bolus's Citadel. Yeah, we're going to have standard Grixis Control up next, featuring two Lockmere Serpent. Um, so that's a good card to try, because y'all know I've never been too high on Lockmere Serpent. So I'm glad. I'm always good whenever donation decks have cards that I don't normally play in them. So we get to kind of test them out more, you know. And see if I'm wrong on the card, if it's better than I think it is. Hey, Roach, I've been doing good. Yeah, I've been doing good. 
I'm the last like two days. I'm I'm kind of feeling just a tad bit under the weather. It's just real cold here, and Hawkeye Hawkeye has a cold. He's got like a runny nose and stuff, and I feel like he's kind of getting me sick. <laughs> he looked up. He's like, "Why are you saying my name?" I scheduled a vet appointment for him, but the earliest I got for him was Tuesday. That's just their first opening they had, unfortunately. Yeah, I know. Poor Hawkeye. He's just got... He's got a, a cold. So I guess Tuesday is going to be a pretty big day for me because, yeah, I have that. Um, so I, I actually, I'm, I may I may take to, this upcoming Tuesday off as far as stream-wise go, goes. So you know, I have the, the vet appointment for Hawkeye, but then that's whenever the the case should come in. So maybe I take Tuesday off to spend the time building the computer and everything. First time for me building a computer, I'm sure it's going to take a while. I don't really know much about computers at all. The brambles of truth twirl and curl, choking out lies. So I may take off Tuesday and and you know take Hawkeye in and then spend spend that day building it. It's not poison. Trust me. Yep. Yep, have all of the All the pieces for it, but not, not the case. On a beach. All right, so my, my goal is to have Golgari Queen kill Oko this next turn. That's my goal. YouTube taught you how to build a computer, install a sink, hang a ceiling fan. Nice. Hopefully YouTube's helping you play better magic, courtesy of me. All right, so yeah, you enjoyed the Demir control deck that we played a while ago? Yeah, I liked that one too, like the one with Gadwick. I liked that one. That one was good. So you, you win almost every time against creature decks, but you struggle against other you. control decks. I can see that. Livestream building the PC. I, I don't really have... It's like, that's the thing, is I would just have like this... I mean, I could have like this camera, and, you know, I'd be building it like on this table. I don't like have like a... I don't know, a better cam. I just have, like, this webcam here. Ugh. Let's broaden your existence. This Saturday, though, we're going to be doing the sub-battle stream. This Saturday. Nope. Yep. What are you doing over there with four mana open? Probably nothing good. Go ahead. Beg for mercy. I'm listening. Ugh. Just trades there. I mean, I guess I was supposed to bring in Veil of Summer also. Uh, no, I have not played any Boros or Mardu humans in Historic yet.
All right, so it's just who's who's on the play that plays Oko right away. That's the Oko mirror in a nutshell. Try to get back in it with Golgari Queen, but Veil Summer too strong. Welcome to the feast. All right, we are just going to take out Wild Growth Walker. Yeah, that's that's going to be the the problem with the human deck and historic is trying to beat these green decks. Definitely feels like the green is feel it definitely feels like green is the is the color that historic is revolving around right now. Um, it does kind of feel like all I'm playing against are Gruul and Oko decks. So finding finding something that you like in those green matchups is the key to historic right now. I never update the decklist command. Just realized that. Nobody said anything about that. There we go. Decklist command updated. I don't know about keeping this. Oh, we can counter Anoko, and we have a Golgari Queen to kill Anoko. I don't know if that means I'm supposed to keep it, though. Doesn't feel like that's very much going on here. All right, so they have Veil of Summer. How it's stopping like this. We know they have Veil of Summer. Hawkeye, you're such a mess right now. You have food all over your face. You're such a mess. All right, so we'll be able to negate Oko, but then they Veil of Summer. We negate, they Veil of Summer, and then I get to untap with Golgari Queen to kill Oko. You sure I can't wipe your face off? Your face is so dirty. There we go. He does not like that at all. <laughs> I'm sorry, Hawkeye. Ugh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He is not happy about that. He's had all that food all, all over your face. 
So he eats like the wet, you know, the canned food and with his snotty face right now. It was just sticking to his face. No, Dragon Pet doesn't change colors. Wild animals I like. Feel the not bad. For a mouse. I wonder if this is just a mirror match. Feels like a mirror match. Yeah, it's possible. I mean, you know, we have the the viewers in here watching the stream and everything, and you know, maybe like the deck and like that's definitely you know that definitely happens with people wanting to play the deck alongside me. Like that's not nothing wrong with that. Those blind to tyranny are lost. One bite, and all your cares are gone. Unfortunately, this is going to eat that Veil of Summer that we know about. Not much for me to do about that. I can't grab a... Um... Can't grab like a Counterspell for that. Definitely want this thing to be a 3-2 so it would trade with, you know, trade with our food token and they make it a 3-3. Getting the, t the two lands is not ideal at all. Yeah, <laughs> you can't count the times you try to import one of your decks and wanting to play it right away. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm not. Oh, dear. I'm, I'd be pretty flattered if this was a true mirror match. if we meet again what are you what are you tapping Yeah, obviously, if our Jade Light traded with this 3 3, that would have been big. Oh no. Seems like my opponent has command the Dread Horde. That's bad for me. Do they need that second black? I think they may have just played a black land and now they have two black. Obviously I don't I don't think I'm really beating Oh no okay, never not never mind, that's not the case. Hmm. 
Hmm. I guess I'm gonna... Okay. I did that block so that I would still have the... If they did have Command the Dread Horde, I'd have the ability to minus and destroy. Why do you want to just tap all of my black sources? What are you doing, Auto Tapper? Stop tap tapping the black lands. They're the valuable ones. Revel with your king, wild and sovereign and free. Gaze into my I wanted to keep Murderous Rider to be able to kill like a Vivian and then have Raska be able to kill Inoko. Command does not target us, no. So Veil of Summer doesn't do anything against Command the Dread Horde, no. All right, we're two and one. Let's reset arena also. I guess I guess it has been an hour and 10 minutes for this league. Let's reset. Looks like I we earned a pack. Must have leveled up. Oh, I've been waiting. Oh, I never published the Rakdos Sacrifice. I should do that. Let's crack this pack open. What do we get? Guilds of Ravnica. Uh, I got all the I got all the cards in Guilds of Ravnica. Rakdos Sacrifice. There we go. All right, so we're going traditional, historic, ranked. Here we go. Okay, so now Rakdos Sacrifice is on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, so yesterday you had one blue card in your whole deck, just a Tamiyo, and it kept wanting to tap your black lands and leave the blue open. <laughs> You can purchase levels, so if you're wondering why some people are at a higher level, you can purchase levels. All it does is just get you like the cosmetics and stuff like that faster. Hurts. That grows the pride made immediately before blockers. Um. Maybe I should be playing the Murderous Rider here. Everything will be fine if we stand together. I am 
proud of those who walk beside me. You smell like trouble. Our true strength lies in our friendships. Ow, ow. Looks good for us right now. Yeah, I guess so. They could have had another Ajani. That would have been a problem. Alright, so the Noxious Grasp Legion's end again. think I just take out my six drops again. I don't really need this Vivian as much. No, Vivian can help me win a late game, but we should still be kind of fine in a late game anyway. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure exactly why my opponent conceded, but they they were not winning that from there if they didn't have anything. They didn't have, like, an Ajani the next turn or two, but it seemed like they could have just hung out and looked for Ajani. But I guess they didn't want to hang out, so they're gone. Yeah, they they obviously yeah, they had a lot more draws. But I don't know. I would not have kept this hand at seven cards, but we already molded it to six and just felt like keeping this instead of going down to five. But no, I would not have. I would not have kept this at a seven. This is certainly over if we don't draw Jade Light Ranger. Obviously, if they have an Ajani also, it's over. Lyoko. Gonna come like one turn earlier. Oh. 
Before I traded my Wild Growth Walker away, I couldn't just, you know, ticked up on that Benelish Marshal. So all you gotta do is stabilize. I mean, they gotta keep on making a whole bunch of creatures, but I had the Oko. It'd also make a bunch of creatures. To pair with the Gilded Geese. Alright, one more match. That was a fast one. Let's play one more. Yeah, they, they should not be conceding there. But, I don't know. <laughs> Oko is broken. Yeah, Oko looks pretty broken when your opponent's at 34 and has a great battlefield and can make creatures every single turn, yet they still concede because you play an Oko. All for three mana. Troll King. That's a pretty good turn three play. Oh, come on. Two lands? Can't even block this Troll King. Ugh. Or find a Wild Growth Walker at least. Okay, good. That's better. Every tale about me is absolute nonsense and absolutely true. Oh dear. Feasting Elk King. King of the Elks. You fear your truth. <laughs> Divine Visitation with Murmuring Mystic. That is a good combo right there. Though every fight makes me stronger. It's not poisoned. Trust me. So I think I'm still going to be going Wild Growth and Branch Walker next turn, kind of waiting a turn before playing Citadel, where, um, you know, I want Wild Growth Walker in play first. I want to be able to hit a, you know, grab a land with Citadel also. The Cavalier of Elks. Yeah, the castle, this castle got them to the sixth mana for the Troll King. I cannot make this block on the Troll King. 
Because if I do, they bring it back by sacking the three food, and then I then I have to elk it again, and I can't elk it and you are cavalier. I can only elk one of them. So, gotta take it. Gaze into my face Meet and put my on new your true shape. It's definitely hoping to grab another wild growth walker or branch walker. Or even a jade light. One to get something else to play on two mana there that turn. No, I don't. I don't stream draft. Um, I usually don't have as good of viewership whenever playing limited, which is draft and sealed, and so no, I just play constructed. Once upon a goose. They got lots of mana. Hope they don't find a Hydro Crisis. All right, so we can play our first land for free. It's another land, so we'll tick up. Balance comes. We only have 24 lands in the stack, so it's not like we're playing a ton of land. And yet it's another land. Surely you see the humor here. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> All three cards are lands. Didn't get to play anything off the Citadel to help protect Vivian. So, you know, Vivian, of course, can ultimate, and we have the blockers for Vivian right now. Oko definitely won that one for us. Yeah, Agent of Treachery, Mass Manipulation, those are definitely the scary cards. Hmm. No, we'll just have Veil of Summer. It's kind of the problem. I have too many cards I want to play. I want to play the Noxious Grasps also. What do you mean my legions end? But I don't really want to take out anything. I do think this is a very good Command the Dread Horde and Bola Citadel matchup. I think both those cards are very good. I could take out the Golgari Queens. Guess. Maybe a choop. Hey! Z with the raid. Z Moshewitz with the with the raid. Welcome to the channel, everybody. Uh, we are playing some some historic right now. We're playing one last match with uh, Explore Deck in Historic. And then after this, we're going to be going to back to some standard. We got some Grixis Control and standard with Lockmere Serpent as the top end. So that's a card that I've never been too high on, 
but I'm excited to give it a try and see how it goes. So yeah, welcome y'all. Let's see. All right, definitely getting Oko down. I don't think I'm supposed to 3-3 three, three the Risen Reef, even though I would like to. But that, that does put a lot of pressure on the Thief of Crowns. Yeah, Hall of Famer there. Yeah, so he's one of the best players in the world. Absolutely. So yeah, if y'all haven't checked out his stream before, definitely do that. How do I do that? I think I do this. Is that how I do it? There we go. Perfect. There's the link. Okay, let's see. Let's... Yeah, we'll just get this thing in play. We don't have to wait. So I guess I'm, I'm probably... Like, hopefully this is a 3-2. Nope, 2-1. Two, I was certainly hoping it was going to be a 3-2. And I could... You know what? Let's just do this. Let's just plus. I was hoping it was going to be a 3-2 and I could trade with a Risen Reef if I elked the Risen Reef. You know, I'm just going to plus so we can minus 5 now this next turn. Ugh. Hey, uh, Mid Ranger, third month in a row. Thank you so much. Hey, Elder Two. Hey, good job. Qualify for the MCQ. Way to go, Elder Two. All right, this is gonna be tough. We need to find Wild Growth Walker. And then have Citadel take over. Uh I yeah, good good chance that I will DJ. Hmm. Mine is yours, and yours is mine. Well, this isn't spectacular. I did write, yeah, so as far as the Mythic Championship 7 decks for this weekend. I did write on my Patreon just a, a real short post of just some um, some kind of guesses of what, what decks will do well, what decks won't. For like the, the main decks and the rogue decks. And everything. So I wrote that on the Patreon today. I invite you to change your ways. Alright. Let's get some spells in here. Let's see, Wild Growth Walker on top, and then some Explore Creatures after it. <laughs> Or more lands. I mean, I definitely could have waited a turn to help against that. Because, yeah, now Oko will just turn the Citadel into an Elk. I guess I should just wait a turn. I just have nothing going on. Gaze into my face and put on your just got a shape. whole bag of nothing going on over here. Yeah, and obviously land is just devastating because that means that we're going to be drawing the land. 
Um, if I wait a turn to Citadel, then if it's a land on top, we get to play the land, so we at least get the reset. But... <laughs> I mean, that's a very fair question. I have no idea how they printed Oko. It's a very fair question. Let's broaden your existence. But again, our deck only has 24 lands. You know, we're, we're not playing a 26, 27 land deck. So this is not something that we should expect to just keep drawing lands here. Doesn't seem like a very good Carnage Tyrant matchup. And there's just a whole bunch of 3-3s on the battlefield. The answer to why they printed Oko is not because of money. That is not the reason why Oko was printed. If you think that if they would have made Oko a reasonable planeswalker like they have in, in other sets, um, you, know, you know, changed it, made it just a reasonable card that they would not have sold booster packs and it needs to be completely unreasonable like it is to sell booster packs. That's pretty silly. It'd still sell a whole lot of packs. No, I don't think this deck could really use Trail of Crumbs. We only have two cards that make food with the Goose and the Oko. If we don't have... <laughs> Fairness. Uh, Goose or Oko in play. The Trail of Crumbs isn't really doing anything. Yeah, yeah, we could definitely take out a land with the Once Upon a Times and Explore Creatures and stuff, we could definitely take out a land. It's usually good to be able to continue to hit land drops, though, when you have, you know, like, the six drops and Krasis and things like that. But yeah, there, there can certainly be one less land in the deck. Okay, so I did not take out any Planeswalker removal. I guess I did with the Golgari Queens. Hmm. There's too many good cards to fit, honestly. Like, I want all these cards. 
I want those 67 cards all in the deck. I mean, I guess I could just take out Once Upon a Time. With this being a post war game where we bring in a whole bunch of spells that aren't Once Upon a Time hits. And play these things instead. So, you know, like we're bringing in Veil, Negate, Grasp. You want to play all those kind of cards? It's not like we really need them to hit land drops. We're pretty good there. That doesn't seem like the craziest thing ever. Could be. It's kind of I kind of just want to test it out, see what happens if we do that. Okay, you play the Explorer Enchantment, yeah, Into the Wilds, and Surveil Demon. Yeah. I definitely like those cards, especially whenever you build around, you know, build a more of a Citadel deck. Those cards are just absolutely amazing with Citadel for sure. So yeah, I like that. We got so much mana. Well, we're dead. <laughs> five lands? Ugh. I would have liked them to draw the five lands in a row. All right, we need to draw Oko. Okay. We got three top end cards this time. This kind of happens with magic sometimes. You know, last game we had, you know, like 12 lands, no top end cards. This time we just have three lands and three top end cards. Why would that be a good block at all?
Thankfully, they don't really have anything good in their graveyard. Just all lands and land war elf. Speaking of lands, we, we could take one of those. Hooray. Down to seven, that's fine. Beasts, no one knows the wilds like I do. Please, no agent of treachery. Are they yours? Is our mag? Let's think this yeah, get rid of those Okos. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Down to five. But Vivian's up to seven. And now we... Hey, what's up, J-Jack? Welcome back. You can't stop nature. Okay, let's keep Let's keep up both the Veil vale Summers for Vivian to Walk just try to protect me. Vivian. With me. I will enlighten you. I think a little merriment is in order. So I know so yeah, Jack, you were you were stationed uh overseas, right? And so how how'd that all go? Hope everything, hope everything's good. Yeah, just all mana creatures. Yeah, that is really nice, Vivian going and grabbing a Planeswalker removal spell with Murderous Rider. That is really nice. All right, so four and one with Sultai Explore in Historic. Um, you know, lots of good value creatures here. And we saw Once Upon a Time shine and, and Vivian shine, honestly. You know, we won a couple of games with the Vivian. Didn't do, like, we never drew Command the Dread Horde, And we only drew Citadel twice, and it wasn't spectacular. <clears throat> for us, but I think, think that was more of us getting kind of unlucky. There's one time where it was really, really good. Yeah, streaming has been going great. Yeah, YouTube channel's going really good. Um, but yeah, back to the Sultai Explorer. Just a, a really good, solid deck. We saw how Wild Growth Walker really helped against the aggro decks. Um... I'd have to try out taking out the Once Upon a Time more, <clears throat> whether or not I liked that. But, you know, whenever you have Veil of Summer and a Gate and Noxious Graps, you know, you have like six spells you want to bring in there. It's kind of hard to find a room because this Explore package takes up so much of it. But a good solid deck here. All right, but there we go. Um, so that's Sultai Explore. So for those of y'all watching on YouTube, make sure you hit that like button over there and of course uh leave some comments as well on the videos i appreciate both of those uh and then again if you want to check out the patreon page there's a link down below um but uh you can see 
Um, just a short article where I just talked about, uh, just kind of picked out some decks that I think will do well, decks I think won't do well this weekend at the Mythic Championship. We'll see how right my predictions are. And of course, on there, you can you know put your predictions if you are a Patreon member over there, see how close you get. Um, but that's it here for Soul Tide Explorer. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.